And here we are, welcome one more time to our series of interviews of 100 Days of Immigrants. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. If you're having an amazing day, which I am, by the way, um, just wanted to, to tell you that, you know, whenever you have a good day, you're like, oh my God, you just, you just want to tell the world that you're having a great day because not only we worked, we had the ability to get up and breathe, and not only that, today I have the opportunity, this is an opportunity to me, by the way, to be <laughs> with somebody that I got introduced not too long ago with, you know, my business partner, my sister, uh, and he's a professional, a leader, a risk taker who actually said yes to my interviews, and here we are. In, uh, in day 63, I believe, I've got to go back and check if this is this day 63 of the interviews. And um, thank you guys one more time for being with us and give us 10 to 15 minutes of your time. And today, Erika Barsuto, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and if you don't tell the truth, I will ask the questions. <laughs> okay. Hello, how are you? My name is Erika Basurto. Uh, I'm from Mexico City. I have been living in Houston for about eight years, and um, what I do well, I, um, I do real estate. This is what I actually I do right now. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Breathe. <laughs> Tell, okay, you from Mexico City, you're living in Houston, Texas right now. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit, you just told us about your profession, about how you have, how you have evolved as a professional, right? But that doesn't make a human being. A human being is a complexity of many things, you know? We have passions, we have sufferings, we have stories to tell. How in the heck did you end up in Houston, Texas and how long ago? It was in 2008 and uh, it's almost nine years actually. Wow, but it's not too long ago. I mean, it's when I'm thinking long. of my story. <laughs> Well, it's been, it's been, for me, it's been a long time. Actually, the two first years I was traveling from Mexico to uh, Houston and like that. And in 2008, I decided to stay with my family. And well, in the first five years, I was doing what I call living other people's dream. Why? Because I was living with my boyfriend, doing whatever he liked it at that time, you know, like going to the places he wanted to go, doing whatever he liked. So I was happy doing what he liked to do, but uh, I don't know, when we decided finally to split up after five years. Yeah. I, wow, that's a, that's a while, okay. Yeah, I, I saw, I said, okay, I haven't done what I really wanted to. It wasn't my dream, it was his dream, so I think now it's time. But let me ask you, did you come here because of him or you came here and you met here? Because I didn't get that part. I met him here. Okay, okay, okay. So at least, from because I've, I've heard so many stories of people saying, hey, I moved there because of my boyfriend and my girlfriend, and then the miracle happened or something like that. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, really, ladies, don't come to this country looking for, <laughs> the, for, <laughs> for, for someone else to make your dream true. Yeah. You know, you had to make it happen. Correct. And that happened to me. I was living <clears throat> some other some other people's dream. And then when finally in 2013 we decided that it was the time to split up, I started this adventure, you know? Like, yeah. So oh, 5 years later, you are at this point I'm guessing you're working for uh, you know, you mentioned that you work in retail, you work in restaurant, you work probably a different kind of uh, jobs and, uh, and labor jobs, right? And until you started to invest in yourself, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. I, I actually I didn't work for five years, so I didn't know how to work in this in this country. So I started working, you know, in restaurants and all that stuff. Actually, it was like doing dishes and that kind of stuff that you know when you start. And uh, I actually learned a lot from the, those uh, jobs. But well, this is another story. No, no, no. It's like actually the whole blueprint of what we have is the past experiences, the past joys and sufferings. So I, 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 I'm pretty sure we can spend a full hour on this, but I, I understand that you, you know, you're telling us that because of your relationship, you ended up investing in yourself and taking life on your own terms. That's true. Um, that is what I learned that um, I have so many uh, abilities I wasn't using. You know, I was like, okay, I'm able to do this, but I didn't know I was able to do it. Correct. So I started to learn about myself, about what I was able to do. So then uh, when I started getting to know more people, talking to more people, like 
going out to places to make uh, to take some classes. Mm -hmm. You know, I started to discover the the beauty of this country when I actually started like opening my eyes. You know, a lot of times we, we get confused to uh, admiring as my our guest yesterday from Colombia. Luna, she said, hey, I noticed that everybody was really blinded by just buying more cars and getting more purses and investing in material things. I said, I don't think I want to go that route and she ended up going to Australia. And today, you're telling me that after this relationship of five years, you noted that there is a pattern that you wanted to free yourself up from. That's true, because for me, like to be successful is not how much are you able to buy, but how much you are able to create to help, to serve. Wow. You know, that Those are really wise words. You know, it's not how much you're able to, even though we are in the real estate industry, right? That everybody relates, you know, real estate with money, 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 money. And at the end of the day, we're looking for significance, right? We're looking for happiness, so. That is the beauty of real estate, that you can help people to, to reach their goals. You can help people. Every time I've helped a person to find a, a new house, every time I help a person to sell their house, Every time I coach a person to, to be able to quit that job they don't like it no more, for me it's a, it's, it's, it's a feeling, you know, that is, it, you can, sometimes I even forget about the checks for some weeks, you know, until the bills get there, but well, then of I remember. <laughs> But you, you don't know when my students, they do some deals. When, By the uh, way, we're going to be talking about her students, okay? So <laughs> don't say like, is she, is she a school teacher? No, no, no. We're going to be talking about very soon. When I said she's a, an industry leader, that's what I meant, you know, in the description right here. So now tell us a little bit of, you know, you ended up moving from a large, large, heavy, big city, Mexico City, right? And then that, you know, you're now in a secondary large city, which is Houston, Texas. Mm, you told us that you know you had a relationship for five years and that actually became your your trampoline to actually go in and pursue life and have significance in your life now tell us a little bit about uh, being an immigrant in this country how many obstacles and how many opportunities have you discovered more obstacles than i really really uh thought before but uh you know what i was a single mother with my mom, depending on me, like, you know, mm -hmm. I had to support her. And uh, when we, I split up, I mean, when I finished with this relationship, I had no money, no work, <laughs> no <Wow>. friends. <clears throat> and I was like, you know, emotionally, I was like, in a bad, bad way. So I remember that time I was like, okay, it's a good way to start from zero. You know, and I, I don't live actually in downtown. I live an hour from Houston, but, I was like, oh my God, what I'm gonna do? So I started to looking for, for uh, solutions. Mm -hmm. So um, it was about three, almost four years ago. Really? And uh, I have to tell you this, nothing was given to me. I had to work hard to get it. It wasn't easy. It is not easy because I'm still, you know? Yeah, But um, that's, the, that's the beautiful thing of life. You have to, you know, it's, it's keeping and making it, that it keeps it real, you know? Yeah, it is. So it, 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 I'm saying it is, it's still, because I'm still, in the struggle, like getting what I want, but I'm in, in a much better situation than I was in that moment, either economical, I mean financially, uh, physically, and emotionally. Now, I know you, you lead a lot of groups of people in Spanish, because that's your, that's your nature, that's your you know, native tongue, Spanish, being born and raised in Mexico City, now living in, in Texas for about nine years. Um, now, mm, before we go into the, continue with the professional life, why don't you tell us a little, bit, a little bit of your perception or opinion, if you have any, of course, to share uh, about the new ways of implementation of the law of immigration in the United States. The reason I'm asking this question to everybody is because that's, this is the reason of this blog, is to share beautiful stories of human beings, we're all the same, that come to a community that does not you know, call, it's not called home any longer, where we come and contribute and benefit from. So, what's your opinion on the new implementation of the law of the new president? Well, in my case, I'm, at first, I'm very respect, respectful, but in my opinion, is like, we have to be more, um, more humans, more than, uh, there are some opinions that I don't like to say, because some people like take it personal, mm -hmm. but uh, I just say it. I'm, I have faith that everything is going to be good. We don't want criminals either. Nobody want them. 
it doesn't matter if they come from our country or they are US, US citizen, nobody want them, obviously. So true, that's not something that people forget, you know, we, we want to be feel, you know, protected and, and safe over here, but... Yeah, but we are part of this country, we are contributing to the community, we are working hard, we're paying taxes, we are uh, being respectful of the laws. That's why I always tell my people when I talk to them in Spanish, because I have a radio show in Spanish, always tell them yeah, It's called 9.20 a.m. Uh, in Houston, uh, www. Uh, la la 920, LA920. Com. Com. com if you want to check it out by the way at the uh, end of the show I, I'm, I'm make sure to link it I'm gonna link it by the way <laughs> or you can you can see it on um, Facebook live on my profile every Tuesday 10 30 in the morning so I always tell my people uh, be prepared educate yourself read uh, learn English as you can see I'm learning English I'm trying to improve every single day every single day it's not easy when you're an adult to learn a new language. But anyway, Improving to... by learning. Yeah, How is that? True. Now, uh, we, we're in 11 minutes. We're trying to keep the promise of keep this blog as short as possible because we are very respectful to your time. And we're going to switch to Spanish very soon. Now, tell us a little bit about um, your profession. So you, you not only went from being working in a restaurant, working in retail, doing second labor hand to become a leader and an example for many, because I've seen you and this how I met you. Now you, you teach classes, you go to the radio, you inspire, you train, you help investors. Tell us a little bit about your professional life and why real estate. How in the heck you ended up in real estate? It was a book, a person, what was it? Well, I always say that I didn't look for the opportunity. The opportunity to find me, but I was prepared, you know, because I was looking something to do that I could obviously make money, mm -hmm. but I could serve people also. It was one of my ideas. I always, I always try to help people. So when the opportunity came with a person who asked me, Erika, can you help me to translate for a Hispanic person? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yes, I can do that. And then I started working with this guy. And then one day, I remember this very clearly when I, I talked to this guy and I told him, hey, I was he like a broker, like an investor? No, he, well, he was an investor. He used to buy properties and then sell them on their finance. Okay. And then I remember one day I told him, hey, can you lend me some money to put a business? Like, and he told me, what kind of business? I was like, I don't know, some rentals or something like about that, you know, for party rentals. He told me, you should put a uh, real estate business. And I was like, uh, really? You I should, don't you know. Should any, you should yeah, set up real estate business. Okay. He told me that and I was like, are you serious? I don't know, and I know anything about that. Like he told me what you can learn. And I remember his word, he told me, if you do this, I promise in five years, you will be out of that store where you are the cashier, where you have to, you know, carry all those heavy. So working in a store as a cashier, and then finally listening to this prophet, <laughs> whatever his name is, <laughs> you want to disclose or not to say, look, you're going to have a better and brighter future if you take life in your own terms. Now, that doesn't necessarily that you're going to be selfish and just doing all for your own thing. Just is creating other opportunities. That's true. That's true. I, I, I just took the opportunity. I, I, even I said, I, I'm not ready, but I can do it. That's what Correct. I said. They say fake it until, until you make it. Fake it until you make it. So that's so true. Ooh. That's so true. Ooh. Now, <laughs> it's 13 minutes right now, so we're running out of time. Now, we're going to go into something. If you have any questions, and I appreciate all, we appreciate all the likes, all the comments. If you have any questions about real estate, I think you're talking to two people right here that may give you some sort of answer in Texas or maybe in the United States, okay? Now, so if, um, please connect with Erica. She's linked right here on the description of the video. We love the comments right here. We love all the likes that we're getting right now. Thank you so much for the appreciation. And uh, Erika, what kind of advice do you have for that woman, girl, female, sitting at home that is working that day job, thinking that I, they wish they could be doing something else with their lives, but they're afraid of? Just. It doesn't matter if you, if you are afraid of. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just uh, don't let failures to, to get you stuck, you know? 
just keep going don't don't get disappointed really easy that is what i with this what i have made i'm still doing it sounds, it. i have to say this it sounds very cliche but when you're saying it and i feel related to what you're saying is like it's no bullshit, you know what I mean? It's no cliche, it's reality. You gotta keep moving forward regardless. When people misbelieve, when people don't believe in you, it's actually when I get fueled the most. And I see it in you as well, right? Thank you. Yeah, no, because yeah. you know, I went to her show, she teaches class over here, we co-work in Warren International. We work together now. We're creating opportunities, we're creating opportunities for others, not us. Others. That's what he actually changes many, many things. So it's 15 minutes. We are going to deliver our promise to keep it as short as possible. Now, this is our time to say goodbye to our audience in Facebook and YouTube. So, um, guys, thank you so much for being in our our you know short clip or video vlog or show, or however you want to call this, and giving us some of your time. If you believe that this video has any kind of message value to you, to your friends, to your loved ones, please, please, please share it, like it. We love the comments that we're getting right now and we cannot wait to bring to you one more story of 100 Days of American Immigrants in Facebook like and YouTube. And Erika, thank you so much thank for, you. for, uh, for uh, you know, accepting me. my invitation. <laughs> now we're going to Spanish. Ahora en Español. Guys, we wish you an amazing, amazing rest of the week, almost weekend. Um, here from Houston, Texas, and we can't wait to have you again over here. So, ciao, ciao. Bye bye.